Hello everyone, it's great to see you again. So for today's plans, I wanna give you an updated tour of my ranch. I've had quite a few people ask me to show you guys around some more. And considering I've gotten so much done since the original time that I gave you a tour, I think it's definitely time. And what's cool is, since Magic's been doing so amazing, I think I'm going to leave the round pen today and actually use him to go around the area and It'll give him practice outside of a pin and obviously I get to ride. So I'm super happy about that. So before we get started, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you. I'm gonna go grab Magic and get him out so we can get him tacked up. So I have not cleaned the pins yet today, but I did look in there and they are quite a mess. So I'm gonna clean them out real quick and get Archie, or get, not Archie, get Magic out so that I can get him tacked up. But look at all this pee. Like, why did he pee so much? It's crazy. And there's no poop. So it's like he's just drinking a ton of water or what? I don't know. Maybe all the exercise we've been doing is like sending fluids through. I, I'm not sure the, the thought process behind that. But anyway, we're going to pull him out and go stand him over by the tack room. And then I'm going to need to care for Venture's pen as well because it also looks really messy. And actually with Venture, I've been doing some work with her in the round pen now, and she's warming up to me a lot. She's starting to trust me a lot more, and she's getting more comfortable being in the pen over here, or I'm sorry, in the stall. Someone notified me that I've been calling it a pen. It's not a pen, it's a stall. So yes, the stall. She's getting more comfortable with it, but she still stands outside. It could be thunderstorming and she's standing outside. I guess she's just more comfortable for now, which is fine if that's what she wants to do. All right, let's put this stuff away. And I'm going to grab some tack for magic. So I think for today, I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I haven't used the adventure stuff yet. I'm really curious what this set looks like. So we'll go with the adventure blanket. And I think gray boots will match that. And then the adventure cinch and breast collar and the adventure is that the right one yes the adventure bridle and then up here somewhere i have the adventure saddle i need to get more colors i could fit a lot more in here i should just get all of them okay so i don't know what this saddle is going to look like the icon looks kind of strange bridle looks pretty normal i think the blanket's nice i like the brown edges or the brown corners that looks good Oh, wait, I forgot to brush you. Oh, I'm sorry. So let's get you brushed. There you go, all nice and clean. Now let's put on your saddle. Your bridle, your saddle, pad. The saddle. Okay, it looks like a saddle. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of neat. All these straps on it. So I could definitely picture going through the Minecraft world wearing this outfit looks like very um adventurous i guess that's why it's named that i get it though i like it it'll be nice for him to practice having different straps on him as well kind of getting the feel for it and hopefully today we'll go faster than just a walk I think i'm gonna put him in a trot for the most part and we have practiced trotting a little bit in the round pen and he's been doing really really well with it when i try to push him to a canter he gets a little bit reluctant sometimes he will just stop he will just rear. So it's kind of iffy, but we're getting better. So we'll just pull him outside of the barn here and I'll go ahead and hop on and we can start our tour. All right, let's go. We're gonna start the tour from that end of the property and work our way backwards. There's not a whole lot of work done up this way that you haven't already seen, but we're just gonna start from the beginning. There we go, nice trot. So to the left, you can see I have some crops. And then well, you saw the bridge already, but I added this fence here. I plan for this area to be where I put my yearlings and horses that aren't quite ready to be ridden or broke yet, but just kind of live their life in this nice natural environment. There's a nice big river here where they can get their water, lots of grazing areas, a lot of dense trees for shade, and they just kind of live out their younger years 
almost in a natural, wild environment. I think that's really important for anyone that breeds to let their horses be horses for a while. I don't know where these cows came from, so don't ask. It wasn't me. <laughs> so we'll make our way this way. Magic, you were being so incredibly good. He seems a little bit excited, but I understand. So to the left, I actually extended out this paddock. It was smaller, but I realized it needed to be a little bigger. So I just kind of ended the trail here. And here's behind the pens and hi, Venture. So in my other video, I told you guys I would probably clear this out and put a gate. Well, I have done that. So over here, that is my indoor arena. It is a work in progress. It is not finished yet, so we will not be stepping inside. But you can at least see from the outside and little sneak peek there that it is quite large and it's really coming along nicely. So I'm happy with it. So we'll make our way this direction. And as you can see, straight ahead is my jumping arena. It is, I hope it's a good size. I don't know what's decent, honestly, but I think it turned out really pretty. I mean, it looks nice. And thank you for the recommendations on the fence tool because that has really come in handy for all my fences. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. I've been having some trouble with the jumps. It kind of bugs out and goes the wrong direction, but I don't know if it's just something that needs to be fixed later, but maybe we'll try and take magic over some jumps in a little bit. So right here I have, oh, my horse is glitching. Right here I have a little snack bar type of thing for when there's events. So people can come and actually order some snacks, some food, some drinks, because you know, you're hanging out at the stables all day, you get hungry and there's a full kitchen in there. So an employee can prepare all of these items for people. And then we have sitting areas so that you can enjoy your snacks and kind of rest while you eat. And magic is wandering off. So that's our little eatery. I think it's cute. Now we're going to continue forward this direction. And Magic, again, you were being so good, even though you're glitching out. Like disappearing. But you're behaving. That is my racetrack. I'm really proud of that racetrack. It took a very long time to build. But I'm really, really, really excited to show you guys the best part of all this stuff. And we're getting to it. So to the left here, we've got some shade, tables, places to just rest. You can sit and watch either event on either side and bleachers. So there's plenty of places for people to sit and watch the events. And I'm really hoping eventually to possibly have a server open for people to come in and enjoy different things together. I think that would be very, very fun. So to the right, again, a little grill. People can sit and hang out. And this right here to my right is my Western arena. This arena obviously has barrels for barrel racing. And if you see the pressure plates there, those have a purpose and I'm going to show it to you and how it works. So eventually with this pen, obviously the barrel racing, I want to try and figure out a way to do some sort of roping. Now, obviously the cows don't jet out fast and everything, but I'm thinking I have kind of a rigged way to make a game out of it, but I have to get some cattle first. So I'll probably buy some cows from a local farmer just to help support the community. So let's go ahead and do a demonstration. I'll just trot the pattern because obviously Magic is not familiar with it. All of this is very new to him, but he's being so good. I feel like it's okay for me to show you how this works. So obviously you'll start butt up against the gate. And then whenever you're ready, you cross this line and that timer starts. So we're just gonna trot the pattern, like I said, for now. Magic is not familiar with barrel racing, but we're doing a really good job here, taking it nice and slow. So we cross over these pressure plates, which will trigger the next pressure plates to actually stop my time. So we can have legitimate competitions. And if there's multiple players going over it, your names will be added there as well, and we can see who wins. So it's a really, really cool system. And then over here on the ground, there's a button and this resets the clock. Yeah. Now, before I get a bunch of comments from people asking me to give a tutorial on how to do that, it was not me. Okay. 
I have someone that is extremely handy with redstone and extremely handy with the command blocks. I myself am terrible at it, but he came on to my server and actually rigged that up for me. I mean, maybe I can convince him at some point to show me how to do it. Maybe I can explain it, but when I tried it myself, it was horrible. I had no idea what I was doing. So actually as kind of a sneak peek into it, I will show you kind of the brain behind that uh, timer, but he showed this to me and it's so above my head. I'm just, so down here in this trap door, wait there, magic. He built this elaborate thing, <laughs> which all this isn't really re relevant to it. But then right in here, this is the brain. This thing here is what's making that clock work. Don't ask me how, I don't know. Like I said, way above my skill level, <laughs> but I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed and I'm super glad because it's gonna add an element of realism and competition that otherwise would not be there. So hopefully if I ever get my server up and running where it's public, you guys can come on and we can do some competitions together. I obviously need to get more horses on my ranch, but I'll get there eventually. But I think it would be really, really great to have some guests over and do like a rodeo or just a jumping event. I don't know, don't you think, or do you guys, would you be interested in doing something like that? Because I mean, if so, then I'll, I'll try to make it happen. I think it sounds really fun though. Okay, magic, easy. Yeah, see, still, I mean, obviously, we don't have a whole lot of hours in the saddle, so that's to be expected. I'm going to give you an example of how the racetrack works as well, since we're over here. And I'm gonna try and get magic into a canter. Hopefully he behaves himself. So the cool part about this is, as you notice, there are some gates in the ground. Let's uh, fix him up right here. And these actually function like drop gates. So if you have multiple horses in there, someone lowers the trigger, then all of them can take off. It's not perfect. As you can see, the inside lane actually drops or later because it's further from the redstone. But, you know, logistics, it's okay. But the way it works is you would back your horse in the stall. Good boy. I know I'm doing all kinds of things with you today. And then the gates would be up and they would drop and then you would take off and bam, there goes, oh, okay, I know, I know. Come on, do it again. There we go. There's a nice canter. Good job. So you cross. And the finish line at this point doesn't matter. This is where the timer will stop. And that's mainly for me to test my horse's speed as I train them. So I wanna see which horses are faster, which ones are slower. So I can kind of breed up, you know, obvious, well, that lantern should not be there. Anyway, so I can breed up a fast horse for racing, barrel racing as well, and even jumping. Because I really want to breed the best of the best I can. So typically after crossing the finish line, if there were multiple people on the server, then the race would be over. The time, like I said, does not matter for the race. The drag strip is just for my breeding purposes. And I actually just realized there should be a gate right here to exit because having to run all the way back down there is not very effective or not effective, but efficient. Yeah, because then, see, look, I have to cross back over the timer to get out. And that doesn't make any sense. So let's try to canter back. Don't buck, don't buck. Oh, thank you, good boy. Getting less reluctant to do what I want him to do. So that's nice. Yeah, we're just gonna place a gate right here on this side. This looks like a nice spot. Grab our gate real quick and place it here. There. Now when I'm done testing their speed, I can just easily exit without having to run all the way back. Makes a lot more sense. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you over here. That's the big screen where the race would be presented to the audience. I mean, obviously you can't really do that, but you know, I think it's a cute touch. And again, the bleachers where the fans will sit. Everything's turning out really nice. I still want a cross country track I'm thinking through the trees there, maybe jump, you know, set up some jumps and have a trail. 
And then I also want to make some trail rides. So areas just to go on a fun trail ride with people, with friends, get off out of the arenas, off the farm, and just kind of go on a fun adventure. Why is my horse glitching like that? He's just disappearing. It's really weird. But let's go ahead and try some jumps. I have never jumped him yet. I hope I'm not pushing him too hard. We did just go around the entire ranch. So he's seen a lot of new things. But I do want to try to use the jumps. This sand is extremely bright. Oh my gosh. Can I get a canter? Let's do it. Oh, okay. Okay. He said, nope, not happening. Oh my gosh. I just realized I'm not wearing my helmet. I've been doing this entire ride with no helmet. What a horrible equestrian I am. You guys do not, <laughs> do not follow my um, example there. You should definitely practice safety when riding, especially a young horse and a horse that you're taking out into unfamiliar territory. And I even made myself, look, I made this cute pink helmet. One of my subscribers told me that, you know, using dye with a leather helmet, you could make a cute helmet. And it's true. So I cannot believe I forgot to put it on. I was so excited about it. Anyways, now that I've got my helmet on and I have some protection, we're gonna try jumping again. And this isn't really the best gear for jumping either, I just realized, <laughs> but that's okay. We're just gonna try, oh my goodness. Oh, now you're just throwing a fit. Come on, we can do one little jump. Yay, you did it, Magic. Good job. Oh, that was really fun. His jump meter is tiny, but that was so much fun. So yeah, I don't want to push my luck. Magic's been very good today. I'm going to go ahead and get him untacked and put away. But first, look at this gorgeous sunset. I absolutely love the shaders for this reason. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the tour. I want to continue to build and, like I said, make a cross-country course. And, of course, I still need a dressage arena. And I'm working to just kind of build a little community. And I really hope that you guys can come along for the ride. I think it would be a lot of fun. I am going to go ahead and grab some yogurt because I am hungry and I am tired. And I had so much fun today. I'm going to be working a lot more with Venture in the future. So hopefully we can get her broke soon so that she can do some things and see if her stats are good because it looks to me like magic stats are quite low <laughs> um so he probably won't be a horse that i compete on he'll be more of my pleasure horse but i don't know we'll see we just have to get some horses to compare him to thank you guys so much for watching thank you again for your continued support it is so special i am so humbled i just thank you until next time bye guys